Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come out here and talk about the whole love and hip hop ATL drama situation, honey. So what's going down is that basically, I don't know if Mona Scott is working overtime or if Jocelyn Hernandez is just crazy as fuck, okay? But what's going on is that Jocelyn took to Instagram the other day to announce to the world that she is pregnant by none other than Stevie J. So when folks saw this, social media went crazy. You know, she wasn't really feeling Stevie J's response. He basically was like, you know, huh, whatever. You know, Mimi wasn't sure if he believed her. Bambi kind of went in on her, you know, showing before and after pictures of her sticking her stomach out. So it was a lot of controversy surrounding if Jocelyn was really pregnant or if she was just looking for attention. Top of that, Sass, who was Scrappy's brother on the show, supposedly got shot in the head and he was in the hospital. He was up and alert. So a lot of folks are saying that this wasn't real. This was just a storyline because no one who gets shot in the head is just, you know, up and alert the way he was. There wasn't no band-aid. It just looked really, really strange. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video real quick. Doc just told me I got a bullet in the back of my head, man. They said I'm gonna be all right though. So I got a big skull. <laughs> You know, I pray for me though. I appreciate the love and support. You know, God got me a lot. Got me, I ain't tripping. My. All right, so you guys just saw the video of Sass. So now the craziest thing is that yesterday, Jocelyn took to social media to basically accuse Stevie J of molesting his own daughter, Eva, which is the little girl that he has with Mimi. When these accusations came out, Folks went crazy. And then on top of that, a former nanny named Lena James, she came out to basically corroborate Jocelyn's story and say that Stevie J also molested Eva. I'm gonna go ahead and post you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and post you guys what Jocelyn Hernandez had to say and what the nanny had to say as well. Check this out. So this is what Jocelyn Hernandez has to say. She says, listen, you less of a man, literally. I never asked you for anything, Stevie. DNA don't lie. You're a worthless son of a bitch, and you know you are the daddy of this baby. You don't want your last name. Your family is sick. Your dad is a child molester, and so are you. Won't you tell them that? Should I take a lie detector test about that, too? You worship the devil, not God. Should I tell them that, too? You are, in, you are the devil in disguise. Should I tell them that? You fantasize about sleeping with your own daughters. Should I tell them that? Should I take a lie detector test on that, too? Trust me and believe you will never see your kid. Trust me and believe DNA don't lie and you will pay. You will pay bad. You have destroyed yourself. You're weak, you're a kid, and you're an abuser. You mad because I blocked you and you can't get in contact with me? We just got picked up for Stevie, J, and Jocelyn. Say goodbye to that. You are a sick, snake-ass nigga. And while you got everyone laughing, you will never meet your kid ever. You will go to your grave without seeing him. I'm glad your family is cool with how you act. I don't want my baby around you, devil worshipers. It's time for you to be exposed. Your last name ain't worth shit. Your family's lives are in the gutter, and that's where you will always be. Me and my baby will have a better life without you in it. Now go run along and stop knocking on my door, calling me at 5 a.m. after you've been getting high all night. I love my baby and we don't need you in our lives, especially if she's a girl. Sincerely, you will never meet the baby, but you will always pay. Goodbye, bitch. So that's what Jocelyn had to say. So now after Jocelyn said that, this woman named Lena came forward and this is what she had to say. So Lena is at Mimi Foss and she's saying at Mimi Foss, and she's saying, tell the truth at Mimi Foss about how you have known for almost two years, possibly more, about what has been going on with Eva and hitman Stevie J. About how you fired me from working as your nanny around the same time as your sex tape release, which you continue to lie to me about, even though I am your family and was living in the same house as you. You basically try to get rid of me once I was able to get the truth out of Eva when she came home one weekend from her father's house with redness between her legs and having pain urinating. Tell them about how you told me about him getting arrested for child support like it was some type of justice and then he was out in a matter of days. Tell them how I helped potty train Eva or got her to eat vegetables and even try fruit for the first time. I have no reason to lie, but only because I have no real evidence except for the word of a traumatized four-year-old. But now that I have confirmation of his sick nonsense from another adult, I refuse to be silent. 
It makes me sick to my stomach and it is beyond disgusting. I never wanted my name associated with any of this ratchetness, but someone has to be an advocate for that child and stand up for what's right. You guys just heard me read what Jocelyn had to say and then what the so-called nanny Lena James had to say. So a lot of folks yesterday were up in arms. Folks were going in, calling Stevie J a child molester, going off on Mimi Foss. And now Mimi and Stevie J have both responded today. And now it's come out today, the Shade Room is saying that the lady Lena James is Mimi Foss's niece and she was arrested. And that's why she's making up these claims against Mimi and Stevie J. They're saying that all this is a ploy and a lie. I want you guys to go ahead and check out what Mimi had to say and what Stevie had to say and the Shade Room had to say. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, so you guys just saw their comments and what they had to say. So a lot of folks want to know my opinion about this situation. And my opinion is this, I'm really disgusted by this. First of all, child molestation is nothing to play with. And that's not an accusation that you just throw out there freely. If Jocelyn and this so-called nanny Lena really had proof that Stevie J was abusing this girl, but they chose to sit on it and not say anything because they were somehow benefiting, then they both deserve to go to jail, okay? Because at that point in time, both Jocelyn and Lena were complacent in what Stevie J was doing. So I just find this to be complete and utter bullshit. And honestly, if I was Mimi Fost or CVJ, I would sue both these bitches for defamation because like I said, that is not a claim that you play with and that's not something that you put out there, especially when it comes to somebody's child. I don't find any of this funny and the fact that they're throwing things out there like molestation and this girl being raped and, and everything else just for either a storyline, just to get attention, it just makes no sense to me. You know, the whole situation to me is just disgusting. And honestly, Honestly, even though this is messed up, a part of me can't really feel too bad for Stevie J because he honestly created a monster. You know, he had a situation with Mimi. They were trying to raise their daughter, but instead he chose to be a philandering asshole. He created this monster with Jocelyn and look at all the drama that she's causing in his life. It seems like now that he's doing better, he's on this bad boy tour, he's getting money and it don't have nothing to do with Jocelyn. It seems like she's very upset and she's very bitter about that. Everything she posts online is negative. She's constantly going off. She posted a video today supposedly showing proof that she's really pregnant. Go ahead and check this out real quick. If he's willing to quit his job for this, then I'm willing to quit. All right, you guys just saw her video about her showing her stomach that she's pregnant. You know, I just can't take Jocelyn seriously. On the show, she went to Mimi and claimed that Stevie J had two kids out there. He's paying child support for her. And then she goes on and basically admits to lying about the whole thing and making it up. So, you know what I did? Mimi, Stevie uses her so much, so she won't put him on child support. Right. So you know what I did? I'm going to make sure she puts you on child support. So I told the bitch that he got babies in the streets. What? And he don't even got babies in the streets. So I just lied and made it up. <laughs> So my thing is she could lie about something that serious about this man having two kids out there by two different women and then turn around and go onto Instagram and say that she made it all up. Who's to say that she's not lying about this whole child molestation situation? You know, I can't take anything that Jocelyn says seriously anymore. I really think that Jocelyn is crazy as cat shit and Stevie J created a monster and all this shit that he done put Mimi and all these other women through is basically his karma coming back on him. But her and this Lena lady need to really watch themselves and stop putting allegations out there that they don't have proof of you know like I said if I was Mimi and Stevie J I would sue both of them because that's not something that you play with you know and I find it funny that you know before all this stuff
stuff started about a week ago. Supposedly, Mona Scott was firing the entire cast of Love & Hip Hop ATL. And once that rumor came out, all of a sudden, Jocelyn was pregnant. All of a sudden, Sass got shot in the head. You know, I just feel like a lot of this drama online is just for them to create some type of weak-ass storyline for next season. But anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. Once again, concerning Jocelyn, Stevie J, and Mimi Foss. Do you feel that Jocelyn and this woman, Lena, are telling the truth? Or do you feel like they both need to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up? Throwing out allegations out there on social media as opposed to going to the damn police to press charges. You know what I'm saying? So I just can't take either one of them seriously. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.